Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the worksheet generator. Now first of all let's think about why you might want to use it. You may be someone looking to create uh, a differentiated task. You'll be someone who uh, is either after a task that focuses on a single topic or multiple topics. You would want the answer sheet too and more importantly you'd want to be able to translate this worksheet into multiple languages if required. For me and why I use the worksheet generator, I am someone who is after a easy homework resource, I'm after a topic test, I'm after a revision resource. There are so many ways that we could use this. So in terms of the workflow, what does this look like? Well, first of all, you'll choose a topic. You'll select the level of difficulty of that topic based on some descriptors. You'll select how many of this type of question you'd like and repeat if required if you need more than one topic. You'll preview the worksheet and then download the worksheet as a PDF. So let's see this in action. So from the homepage of the Mass Whiteboard site, if we scroll down, we get to the worksheet generator. Selecting this, you can see it's now come up with a text box. Within the text box, if we start searching for a particular skill, so for example, I was after a worksheet relating to add or subtract fractions, we can select it from the list. Perhaps I'm doing a topic test on how we add and subtract fractions. So the first worksheet I might want to create is one that is about adding or subtracting in all its variations. So if I select all, what it will do is it will create a worksheet based on all of these descriptors. So if I then select I want three questions from each of these different styles and click preview, it's now created an online version of my worksheet just so that I can double check the quality of the questions. So I selected three from each star, so we've got three questions with common denominators, three questions with different denominators, and so on. So I've got a fairly good differentiated worksheet to test students' understanding of how we add and subtract fractions. Now if I click, click Create Worksheet, it will create a PDF where on page one we've now got my questions, and if I scroll down on page two we've then got all of my answers. So it's super easy, click and collect, resource for a single topic. But what if I wanted a revision resource that assessed more than one topic? Perhaps I've just finished a unit of work on multiple topics and one of them happens to be adding and subtracting fractions. So I'll choose now three star and I'm going to choose two questions at the three star. So add or subtract three fractions and I'm going to add another skill. In which case I'm now going to select area because it was one of the skills I've covered. Uh, and this time we only did uh, area of triangle and rectangles. So I'm going to select that I want three questions at this level, and then I'm going to add another one, uh, which in this case was how to simplify expressions. Now in this case, I'm going to have uh, four star, and I'm going to choose again two questions at that level. So this time when I click preview, I've got two questions relating to add and subtract, three questions relating to add areas of recta rectangles or triangles, and then I've got my two questions relating to uh, simplifying expressions. And I can create the worksheet, same thing again, it will create one page where I've got all of my questions, another page where I've got all of my answers. But let's take a look at how we can translate this into multiple languages. Well, I happen to have, as it says here, Google Translate installed into my Chrome browser. So I can click on the uh, Google Translate extension and I can ask it to translate the page. Up comes the language selection and I can then select Spanish, for example. So the whole page is translated into Spanish, uh, and more importantly, so are my worksheet questions. Although the buttons have been translated into Spanish as well, if I hover over it, I can see the original translation, so not all is lost. So clicking Create Worksheet, I now have my revision worksheet in Spanish. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you've got any feedback, then by all means, please do reach out to me via email at matt at or via Twitter.